And there is something out there in the darkness. Something terrifying. Something that will not stop me. feel fear. Please don't hurt me. Meet me outside this place of my defeat, and I'll tell you what you need to know. You need to find the Mangsum Jabberwock. The Jabberwock lairs in a hidden forest den on the high road near the shrine to loyalty. As you get close, you'll hear its terrible whiffling and burbling. But show no fear. After it breathes its fire, strike hard. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock to the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. Once you've purified the hearts of the Jabberwock at the shrine, take them back to that blasted Friar Nolan.
gyre on by a grove of tum-tum trees into the Jabberwock's lair. You hear some whiffling and burbling up ahead. Beware, the Jabberwock! The jaws that bite, the claws that catch! <laughs> As you subdue the slithy beast, it emits a terrible hacking, like a cat with a hairball, and spits up a tulgy gob. You find the hearts of the Jabberwock in the Mimsy mess. Whoever said being a wizard was easy. You purify the hearts of the Jabberwock on the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. defeated the Jabberwock, cleansed the magical rubies, and punished the Dark Knight for his disloyalty. A truly frabjous day.
Rise, wizard. You are promoted to knight errant for your mastery of... Rise, wizard. You are promoted to knight errant for your mastery of the virtue of loyalty. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock back to the wild. Deirdre will show you how to restore the Hanging Stones Bridge. Loyal knight errant, take the hearts of the Jabberwock to Deirdre Madden in the wild. She will guide you. Look brighter, wizard. Friar Nolan sent you to battle for the hearts of the Jabberwock. What a fight that would have been to see. Take the hearts and touch them to the fallen hanging stones. The monoliths will rise up and reform the bridge. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock and touch them to the fallen monoliths to restore the hanging stones bridge. Stones Bridge is an ancient work of the Weirwood Ferries. Thank you for restoring it. Cross over the Hanging Stones Bridge into the Weird. Stay on the path to the Lost Abbey and beware the tormented treants. If you are quick and kind, you might find a full fire wisp to help guide you. They are enemies of the spectres of the broken. Use the Hanging Stones Bridge to enter the Weird. The path will take you to the Lost Abbey if you don't stray. The faux firelights live there, although they are prey for the spectres of the Brocken. You might find one to guide you. The spectres of the Brocken are haunting this area, attacking the harmless faux fire lights. If you defeat some spectres, perhaps the faux fire lights will know you're on their side. Thank you. 
When you defeat that specter, it releases a captured faux firelight. The faux firelight is bobbing and weaving as if it wants your attention. It bobs and weaves cheerfully. The faux firelight seems to understand your quest. It illuminates a path for you, right into the lost abbey. The faux firelight shines a path for you into the lost abbey. By the horned crown, who disturbs my melancholy? I shall feed on your mana and leave your body a husk for the beetles.
Shadow is lifted. I am transformed. Stranger, you have broken my madness. Let us speak outside this accursed place. Brilliant knight errant, how can I repay your good deed? My tragedy has been lost to the mists of time. Suffice it to say, I knew joy and sorrow before the time of King Artorius. But when the vile Pendragon, Lord of the Wild Hunt, rose to power, his shadow twisted me and my brother ghosts to evil. The Sword of Kings! <laughs> We gave it to the Pendragon's Horned Ones just before you liberated me. They secured it in a fraudling wagon and went down the path. Hurry, and you might catch them. The Horned Ones stowed the Sword of Kings in a fraudling wagon and went down the path. Chase them down, Knight Errant. Oh no! Something terrible happened to the wagon before you could do something terrible to it. As you get closer, you think you hear a wee tiny voice crying for help. Oh, help! Can any brave soul hear me? You heard me! Hooray! Your help, brave big one. Our village is in that tree, and we cannot douse the magical flames consuming it. Please collect some arcane water from the rainbow fountain and use it to quench the flames. Collect arcane water from the rainbow fountain. We must douse the magical flames before they consume my village.
The arcane water from the rainbow fountain sparkles with its own light. You collect a sample. You hope it will be enough. from the rainbow fountain. We must douse the magical flames before they consume my village. You got back just in time. You soaked the tree with the arcane water you collected. There's a loud hiss and a billow of white steam. For a second, you can't see anything. Big one, you saved us. I saw the wagon attack my death seraphs. They crushed the horned ones with their infernal flames and stole a great sword. The death seraphs flew to the burial ground. This trail leads to it, but I must warn you, an Etin blocks the way. You'll need to face the Etin, both of his faces, to get there. If you get by the Essen, there's a friendly ghost in the burial ground called Bridget. She can help you find the death seraphs. Follow the trail toward the burial ground. Try not to let the Etten eat you. And find Bridget. She's a very nice ghost. Smell a wizard. Come closer and let me grab a hold of you. We won. I said come closer. You are not scared of me, Gyre and Gimble. You hear that thunder? It is my stomach. It is long empty. I recall the savory tang of roast mutton from the Froudling village. Perhaps you want to get past me, but I cannot hear your words because my stomach is so loud. Fetch me a pot of mutton. Fetch me a pot of mutton from the Froudling village. I cannot hear you over the rumbling of my stomach. Bring it to me. Ah, oh, there he is. I see you retrieved it. Please bring it closer. <laughs> Let us bargain, wizard. The mutton? That was but charity. A devilish leprechaun lured me here to be turned to stone by the sun. A cloak of raven shadows can free me. First, scavenge raven feathers from the Froudling village. Then, you'll need to battle wildfire treants for ashes and tormented treants for twisted branches. Take it to the devil Shane McGobbin. He can make the cloak, and in return, I'll vow not to arm a leprechaun again. Get raven feathers from the Froudling village, ashes from the wildfire treants, and twisted branches from the tormented treants. Take it all to Shane McGobbin and get him to craft me a cloak of raven shadows for my vow not to arm him or his people again.
raven feathers, wildfire ashes and twisted branches. And what you be needing a cloak of raven shadows for? That moth-eating atten. He's mashed me people for more than a score of years. Eh, he's offering a vow of peace. All right, but make sure both heads swear or we'll both be sorry. Here's your cloak. <laughs> hey, went for it. I mean, of course, I'll keep my vow. What do you mean I have to promise for my other head, too? What trickery is this? Didn't I? Fine, fine, fine. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. We vow never to arm a leprechaun again. Happy? You helped us, wizard. I won't forget that. Me either. I'll remember you fondly as I pick your bones out of my teeth. No, no, no. A deal is a deal. The way is open to you, wizard. Head on to the burial ground and find your ghost, Bridget. Go past the burial ground where you'll find Bridget, the ghost you're looking for. I still think I should eat him. Halt, defiler, or face my wrath. Oh, you are a knight errant and a friend to Sir Bellinos. I'm sorry, I am weak and my sight is no longer clear. I would help you, but Fraudlings stole carved markers from my tomb and my own weapons. This has reduced my power. Retrieve my carved markers from the Fraudling village and fight the Spriggans for my weapons. Then I can aid you.